Hi everybody, my name is Travis Brandner and I am here in the studio with Coconut Milk. You guys want to introduce yourselves real quick? Hi guys, I am Paul O'Moore and I play bass in Coconut Milk. My name is Alex Baker, I sing and play the guitar. My name is Kat Farmer and I sing and play the keys. My name is Chris Carrier and I'm playing drums for Coconut Milk. I think I'm going to ask you guys a question that's really important for a lot of artists to ask themselves and that is what is your definition of success for Coconut Milk? What are you guys looking to do and what are some of your goals? First of all, I want to have fun. Um, so Alex here wants to have lots of fun. Uh, I just really want somebody else to pay for us to travel around the world. Um, that'd be great. Uh, success is kind of an irrelevant term because no one really makes a lot of money in the music industry. So, you know, if we could just like get by and see the sights and like people enjoy our music, I think that's good enough. What would you guys say is your biggest show or your favorite show you've ever played? Have you guys done any festivals or anything? I really liked playing at Midpoint Music Festival. That was a lot of fun. Um, we got to open up for the Tune Yards and Low Cut Connie and Knee High. And uh, it was the biggest stage I think we've ever played. And it was with a lot of people. I'm going to just pass this down the line so everyone can give theirs. I concur, that was a great show. Yeah, that was nice, but I liked playing with, um, we played at this place that we were on tour with Super City, and it was towards the end of the night, it was like during the week, and there was hardly anyone there, and um, Super City danced like idiots around it, and I just remember that, and it was fun. And we're playing with them again, March 26th, there's a plug for Super City. But it was just fun, because it was friends being stupid together on tour. What are your current plans for recording an album and is there a tour or any upcoming shows? How many albums do you guys have recorded so far and what? just tell me a little bit about the upcoming album. Well, we recorded two EPs already. We've got We're Sorry and Tastes Great. Um, we did those over last year and at the end of 2014. Uh, we recently, as you may have noticed, we've got a new drummer, Chris. Uh, we were in the process of recording an album when the drummer and lead guitarist decided they wanted to pursue their side project. So we were left in a situation of upheaval, uh, so to speak. Uh, so we we're actually going to break ground on this new recording, hopefully by about mid-April, uh, hoping to release a full-length album uh, sometime later this year, maybe October, November-ish. And then we're going to follow that up with at least a two-week tour. Uh, in the meantime, we're looking to, you know, kind of spread our wings around the neighboring cities a little bit. Columbus, Lexington, Louisville. We're going to concentrate on those areas while still, you know, we're not leaving Cincinnati hanging by any means. We're still going to be popping up all over the place about once a month or so. Um, that's kind of the loose idea for, like, at least the next year. Don't forget your birthday show, March 26th, at Northside Tavern. I thought we could just use this as kind of an opportunity to maybe give a shout out, not necessarily a shout out, but just if you could just kind of say some artists in Cincinnati who you guys are friends with or you look up to, anybody you think you should keep an eye on, who are some people you think are doing it really well right now, and just can you give a shout out to some artists? Dog Yop, I never, I wouldn't have minded losing to them on any occasion. <laughs> Dog Yop is great, and who doesn't like a guy all sweaty in a poncho? Um, I've always been a really big fan of the Yugos, uh, but a new band that has really been like impressing me lately is a band called Fun Machine. Um, they've, they've been around for a little while, and they just started playing again recently. In the past couple times I've seen them, I've been like, holy crap, this band's awesome. So, you know, watch out for them. They're probably going to pop up a little bit more over the next year, the first year. What were you guys up for an award at the CEA Awards? I don't... Yeah, we were up for Best New Band. Uh, honestly, this year's crop of Best New Bands, like, 
any one of them could have taken home the prize because, I mean, we were up against uh, JSPH, or Joseph with no vowels, um, Dog Yop, Go Go Buffalo, The Skulks, uh, Multi Magic, you know, any of those bands I would have easily foreseen taking home the prize. It was, in my opinion, the strongest year of best new bands that City Beat has ever had. Gotta love the Go-Go Buffalo. Yeah, we love Go-Go Buffalo. You know, they're a totally different genre than us, but uh, we actually, me and Alex live with Jeremy, the lead singer, and he's a nut, and everything that you see in their live shows, you can just assume that that's the real him because <laughs> it's pretty close. So you guys would say that you're happy with at least being nominated, and that's kind of an honor just to be among the list of people who are up for the award? I almost feel like if we had won, it would be intimidating, because it's kind of like the Larry David with Seinfeld scenario, where it's like you get nominated and win like a prestigious award, and then where do you go up from there? So I'm actually kind of happy about it. Yeah. Happy about the, yeah. You guys should all check out Coconut Milk on Facebook, Bandcamp, and Instagram. And you can check out more interviews like this on TravisBrander.com. See you guys later.